Hello everybody and welcome to my 78th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to uh, avoid having issues with apostrophes in your text fields. Uh, so the only time you really need to use it is with kind of user input into your criteria for things. Um, so say with this environment username, we're not going to need to use it really because unless you're going to have apostrophes in people's login details, which is quite unlikely, um, but possible, I guess, if you uh, have people's names as their usernames, you could probably have an apostrophe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function down here. So uh, function and uh, so I'm going to call it uh, sanitize. SQL uh, and then we want to bival a, um, a SQL string as a string uh, and we want to make the function return a string uh, and then all we're going to do is just replace uh, we're going to make sanitize sql equal to replace sql string uh, and then we're going to ask find find a string replace our string so we're going to find any apostrophes uh, and replace them with two apostrophes. Uh, what that is going to do is when you put one apostrophe in, it's going to end it. But if you put two in, it's just going to say end it. Oh no, actually, we want to put an apostrophe. Uh, and then it's just going to let it carry on as normal. Um, so now we can use the sanitize SQL. So let's go onto our new name. And we just want to put sanitize SQL around it and then the close brackets. And so now when we press play on this and I try and change my name to Matt O'Reilly and press OK and it's going to run fine. And if we look into our users table, uh, then it, you'll notice it's updated to Matt O'Reilly. Um, and that is quite an important one to keep quite an important function You're probably going to want to just cut it out of there and put it in our um, DB connection module so now you're able to use that if you've imported the one that I've made so that's it for this tutorial um, in the next few tutorials we're going to get a little bit more advanced because we've kind of covered the basics now uh, you should be able to create quite a a uh, complex spreadsheet that uses your database as a back end um, and do quite a lot of different things. You can create new records, you can get rid of records, you can update records uh, and you can search through for the existing records and, and manipulate them. So um, we'll probably do a couple of examples and then uh, go on to uh, joins and, um, and things like that. Uh, and so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.